Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the August Hello Handmade Creations. If you don't know what Hello Handmade Creations is, every month a bunch of different indie makers get together and they contribute one to two products on the Hello Handmade Creations site. That site is then open the 14th to the 21st of every month, so it is actively open. It opened on the 14th and it will close on the 21st. In the description box, I will link the Hello Handmade Creations site. I will link their Instagram page. I will link their Facebook page. I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. And then I will link all of the makers that I have to share with you as well down there. These products won't be available on the makers' sites. They will only be available on the Hello Handmade Creations site and only during the ordering window. But it is a good look into each brand if it was something you're interested in further exploring. So without further ado, we have eight of this month's products to look at and let's go ahead and get started. So first from Clarissa Carroll, we have Judy's Neon Dream. This is inspired by the Jetsons and it's described as a bright pink magenta with a glow in the dark to a dark pink reactive quality. Uh, this also has a shifting shimmer, flakes and silver reflective glitter. I got full coverage in two coats. These reflective glitters are gonna dry super textured, so you're gonna want a thicker top coat to finish this off. Removal will require a good bit of scrubbing, and um, this color can also have the potential to stain. Up next from Limby Designs, we have Languid Linguini. This is inspired by Tasteful Noodles, and it's described as a cerulean-based multi-chrome with peach to gold to green shifts. I love this polish. I love a good multi-chrome that has like an added element to it, and the shifty shimmer that's in here is absolutely stunning. I got full, coat, full coverage in two coats. Again, you'll want a base coat to avoid any kind of potential staining and a top coat to make it nice and shiny. Up next from MJ Lacquer, we have Yellow Rose of Texas. This is inspired by Roses Are Red, Violets Are Blue, and this is described as a glow-in-the-dark banana shade featuring an aurora shimmer, chameleon shifting color flakes that go from orange to green to pink, and pink and purple holographic micro glitter, as well as pink reflective glitter. So again, we are working with reflective glitter. This is gonna dry pretty textured. A thicker top coat will help smooth that out and removal will require some scrubbing. So there are two coats. Up next from my brand Pampered Polishes, we have Ghostess with the Mostess. This is inspired by Halloween and it's described as a clear based Aurora shimmer with iridescent micro flakes, black glitter, and neon green glitter. I'm going to show you what this looks like in two coats on its own. This is my preferred way of wearing it, but then I'm also going to show you what it looks like over a kind of bright pastel uh, purple polish give more of those Halloween vibes with these colors all together. I really do like how this looks on the bare naked natural nail. I've always been a big fan of this look and I think these colors complement each other very well. This is glitter though, so you are gonna want a thicker top coat to smooth it out and add some shine back to it. And since it's glitter, it is gonna require some scrubbing. Nothing in here is gonna like clump together though. Nothing is like too over jam packed with one um, glitter, so it's really easy to use. Up next from Penelope Luce, we have Nana, and this is inspired by Goddess of Mythology. It's described as a grape base with a purple shimmer. A very basic description, but it does have like more of a pinky quality to it, and the shimmer that's in here is very fine. And it also has these kind of, I would say probably silver little micro glitters in it, but it doesn't dry like a glitter, so I'm not really sure what it is exactly. I didn't have any kind of brush strokes through the shimmer. I got full coverage in two coats. Nothing dried textured and nothing was difficult to remove. So there are two coats. Penelope Luce has a second contribution this month. This is Goddess of Wisdom. This is also inspired by the Goddesses of Mythology, and it's described as a green to blue magnetic with a purple micro flake and purple hollow glitters. So this one is intended to go with the previous polish. You can purchase them individually as or as a set for $25. I am going to show you what this looks like on its own, um, and then I'm going to layer it over uh, Nana or Nana. Um, just so you can see what the two would look like together. 
while it's on its own. I'm going to do three coats just because magnetics do tend to pull pigment from the rest of the nail and to make sure I didn't have any bald spots, I wanted an, an extra coat to it. This does dry on the dull side, so you'll want a top coat for that reason, but nothing is going to dry overly textured and nothing was overly difficult to remove even though there are glitters in here. So there are one and three coats. And lastly for today from Rogue Lacquer, we have Mr. Smee, and this is inspired by Peter Pan. It's described as a white crelly with red, turquoise, and blue metallic flakes. I love Rogue Lacquer's crelly formula, and this is an absolute stunner in my eyes. I gravitate generally towards white crellies, and this color combination is so beautiful. I got full coverage in two coats. If you're super picky or work super thin, you might want three. You'll want some top coat and removals easy. So here's a look at the polishes that I received for August's Hella Handmade Creations. There are so many more on the site though if you want to check them out. Um, there's something for everybody on the Hella Handmade Creations site this month. There are a ton of offerings. As far as what I received personally, I love them. I love that we got two glow in the darks this month. I got the topper, some shimmers, the flakes. There's a very good variety here and I'm very happy with them. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up. Let me know what your favorite was from today's video and let me know what else you've been eyeballing from the Hella Handy Creations site. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time.